If you wish to navigate around your image in a multitude of ways, then you can go to the window menu, which is the home where you'll find all of your panels stored. And in that list, there is one called Navigator. If you left click on that, you'll find that it opens up, popped out from the sidebar, and we have a tab across the top, as all panels do, calling it Navigator. And if you wish to, you can drag and pull this panel out from its current home. So if you hover your cursor over the word Navigator, click and hold down the left mouse button, keep it held down and drag, you can pull that panel away. When you let go of the left mouse button, it will now flow in front of your artwork and make it a little bit easier to use. We don't need to see the other panel, so there is a button for that just here. You can click on that and it will disappear. Now the Navigator panel will allow you to achieve just about every kind of navigational feature available in Photoshop. Right now, all of the image is visible in the image window. If I wanted to zoom in, well then you could click on the large mountain to zoom in. Notice that when you do, the red box that appeared around the very outside of this thumbnail of our artwork becomes smaller because whatever's inside of the red box denotes the region that we can see in the image window. Zoom in even further by clicking on the large mountain and that box becomes smaller and smaller. Conversely, you can click on the small mountain to zoom out and we see more of the image. In between them, we have a slider where you can just drag that right and left, which is very similar to scrubby zoom. But what makes this panel very intuitive is the fact that when you hover your cursor over the red square, click and hold down the left mouse button, it acts like bird's eye view. The beauty of this is you can just drag this around wherever you wish to inspect the image and you can head there. So you know exactly where you are and where you're heading to. Again, if you wish to, you can swipe over the value for the percentage and type one in yourself and press return to get to that zoom level. It's not something that you will do on a regular basis, but what I would say is that if you have some titles on an image on a poster and you don't quite see all the characters fitting on screen, that's the time when you might wish to swipe over that value and increase it or decrease it just to make a title fit in your image window. Other than that, the other options will serve you more than adequately. You can make this navigator panel larger by going down to the bottom right hand side. When you see the double headed arrow of the scale symbol, click and hold down the left mouse button and drag out to make it larger. Of course, you can make this really large, but then again, the larger it is, well, the less useful it becomes because it's almost the same size as the image window. So keeping it a relatively small size will make it more efficient. If you don't wish to use the navigator panel, you can go up to the top left hand side and click on the X. You might find on the PC that's at the opposite side. You can always find it by going to window and then going down and clicking on navigator where it'll appear exactly the same way it was when you last used it. And that's the navigator panel, the all encompassing navigational tool.